Hello, and thank you for joining me on another episode of The Average EV. Today, I am going to go over level one chargers and level two chargers if your vehicle does not come with one. Um, this whole video came from a comment from a viewer, so thank you. Um, they uh, basically they asked me, because uh, obviously, hopefully if you've been watching my videos, you know that uh, we're gonna be getting a Volkswagen ID4, the 2023 model that comes from Chattanooga. And they asked me if it comes with a level one charger cable. And I was like, you know what? I actually don't know, uh, cause I have a level two charger at home, so I don't really care. But I'm like, I'm gonna look into it. So I looked into it. They are not coming with the level one charger cable. And um, the person mentioned that I think they could buy the level one charger from Volkswagen for $300. And so that kind of um, precipitated this whole uh, video and why I wanna bring it to you all and give you a little a bit of my opinion about level one chargers uh, and what I think might be a good option for those of you who may be purchasing an electric vehicle that are not coming with level one chargers anymore, maybe because um, they can't they can't, uh, they can't find them. You know, I know there's a lot of supply chain issues and maybe um, it's just easier for them to not have to worry about the, the chargers. Maybe it cuts costs, I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm gonna give you a couple thoughts and then uh, we'll, we'll dig into it. So here we go and thanks again for joining. So if you've watched any of my videos about charging, you know that I don't speak too kindly uh, to level one charging. Frankly, it's too slow and it's not gonna benefit most people for most use cases. Now, I'm not saying there aren't people out there who can get by with a level one charger, but I'm saying the average person, uh, which is who my audience is, um, oh, I hope, uh, will need something a little bit better. So, first things first. If your vehicle doesn't come with a level one charger, I would probably recommend against purchasing it from the dealer especially if it's $300. Um, just a quick Amazon search and you can find a number of level one chargers that are much cheaper than, um, than $300. And as long as it is, um, <clears throat> as long as it's a, a J1772, it's gonna work on your vehicle. Um, if it's the level one charger. So I, I don't see any reason to buy the one that is branded you know, Volkswagen or whoever you buy your car with. Uh, so if your car doesn't come with one, I would recommend finding it somewhere else. Now I'm not gonna give a recommendation, um, like a strong recommendation for any um, level one chargers, but I will uh, give you a little bit of my opinion and what I would do. Uh, so first off, if you just want a level one for emergencies only, um, I think the Electron one, it's on the pricier end of what you'll find on Amazon, but it's UL listed. Electron is um, a reputable company and it's a good charger. Uh, so that might be a good option if you are looking for um, a level one charger. Uh, additionally, if you just go on Amazon and look at reviews, um, you could probably find one. I am going to recommend that whatever charger you get, make sure it's UL or CE certified. Um, UL is the, the American uh, safety certification and CE is the European certification. Just in case, because you don't want to buy like a, a sketchy-ish um, uh, charger and then something happened at your house. So I would definitely recommend getting one that's UL or CE, but that being said, live your own life. If you don't want to do that, you know, you don't have to listen to me. So that's it on level one chargers. Just find one that's safety certified and a reasonable price. I would say under $200. Okay. Obviously higher quality. Uh, it might be, be made a little bit better and last a little bit longer. Um, Oh, I do want to add, it might, if you're, if you have an outside 
uh, charging scenario for your vehicle and you know you don't have a garage or something like that it might behoove you to make sure that it's IP rated as well so IP65 or uh, somewhere around that where it's outdoor um, approved where the um, you can run it out the box usually there's a box and then it goes to the cord that the box can be outside as well as the charger cable when it's plugged into your um, EV so that's actually it on uh, level one chargers. If you have any more questions, throw them in the comments and I'll respond, but I, I don't want to talk too much about them because I just, they're really for emergencies and I wouldn't uh, count on them for regular charging use. Um, I just have to mention the sun is, it's very bright today. This is not the best time to record, but um, I, I kind of have all these thoughts in my head right now and I, I want to bring them to you all. Um, that being said, what I would strongly recommend for you if you're someone who um, is not going to get a level one charger with your vehicle is to actually get um, buy and you can find them a level one level two charger uh, so essentially these are chargers that come made to be a level two charger and then there's an adapter that makes uh, that will allow it to be a level one charger okay so it'll go to your, your standard um, uh, uh, standard plug. I'm sorry, my brain's a little crazy right now. Okay, so I would strongly recommend this. This is why, and this is my scenario, and this is what I have. <clears throat> I have one that um, can plug, it's, um, sorry, it's 240 volt, um, 16 amp, okay? Uh, it charges my car at 3.6 uh, kilowatts, um, and it's perfect for me. Uh, could I use a fat could I have a faster one? Would that be awesome? Sure. Do I need it? Not really um, But anyways uh, It's the level two goes into the um, <clears throat> I use it in my dryer outlet uh, Maybe some of you can reach your dryer outlets Maybe some of you can't maybe some of you if you got a long enough cord could run it in through a window um, To your dryer something like that. It's totally up to you. Maybe you have an outlet in your garage you can use maybe uh, you could have something installed there. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of a picture. But for me, my dryer is like right next to my garage. So I park in my garage, run it, plug it in, and I charge at night. Um, and then additionally, if I go on a road trip or something like that, I can have my uh, my level one, level two, and I can use it as a level one plug in in an absolute emergency uh, scenario where I would need to charge. You can get these at different amperages and you can get them with different um, connector plugs. Um, so I have the, the NEMA 1030, but you can get, um, it's escaping rate me right now, but you can uh, also get the, the 40 amp, um, the, well, let's be 32, but the 40, I forget the first numbers, whatever 40, I'll put it right here in text, it'll be right here. Uh, you could get that as well. Um, so you can have level one and level two options. So I think that's the best way to go. You can find those from anywhere from like a hundred to three hundred dollars. Um, obviously, the brand is gonna um, uh, affect the quality of the product, but uh, try and make sure it's UL or CE listed. Um, full disclosure, mine actually isn't UL or CE listed, but it had high ratings and um, it comes with a bunch of. Um, uh, safety features it's just never got approved by uh, the ul um so would i feel more comfortable if i had a ul am i actually actively now looking for um a better charger yes i am uh so that's uh kind of what, what i would recommend um for people to do if you are choosing to get the level one level two charger so you have the flexibility to use um level one if you're traveling uh, and in an emergency scenario, or you the level two for at home and your regular charging. Um, just if you can get a higher amperage based on uh, whatever outlet you're using, try to. Um, so for example, my dryer outlet is the 10, uh, the, the 1030. So it can output for me a maximum of, if I had the right um, uh, charger, uh, 25 amps, which is great. And that would give me that 5.6 um, kilowatt charging speed. Right now, I just I'm running. I believe it's 16 amps, so I'm only getting the 3.6, which is fine. Um, but if you know you have the 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 
that outlet, try and get the um, highest possible so that you can get the best charging at home. Uh, but if not, the 60 amp is gonna give you the, the 3.6, which is, like I said, it's good enough for me as I get down to 60% and it charges me up for the next day. Um, and so, so I feel as though it'd be good for most people. Um, but if you can get a little faster, why not? It's always nice to, to shave off a little time. And th those are my, that's, uh, those are my opinions about level one uh, chargers and I, how I think you should do a level one, level two charger. Um, and ultimately, I think too, for home charging, if you could have a dedicated level two charger installed um, at a higher amperage, um, like you know, 40 to 48 amps, that would probably be the most ideal because that's gonna give you the fastest charging and uh, be, be, be worth your, your time, in, you know, in my opinion, so. And um, real quick, I uh, just because I feel like a lot of people who are getting EVs and starting to learn stuff um, don't really don't know all the the little small stuff about charging and um, electricity and stuff like that. So I wanted to give you all this really cool piece of knowledge if you're ever wondering. So if you want to figure out how fast something's going to charge, it's a simple uh, simple math problem. So you take the voltage and you multiply it by the amperage and that gives you watts, okay? And then all you need to do is, um, you know, go over three go over three numbers at a decimal point and that gives you your kilowatts. Um, so for example, and again, I, um, I'm just doing this because I know off the top of my head, you take your two point, your, your 240 volt, right? Level two chargers, 240 volt multiply by the amps. I have a 16 amp charger and that gives me the 3.6. Um, so that's just a little, little fun, fun thing for you all. And if you all have a vehicle that, um, actually shows you your amps and voltage uh, and you're doing high, um, like higher uh, charging speeds, you can just take your voltage times your amperage and it'll give you the kilowatt, which is the, the, the speed of charging or the, the, the charging rate, okay? Um, so just wanted to drop a little knowledge for you all. Maybe that could, um, something fun for you to do while you're sitting and waiting for your EV to charge is do math problems. Probably not, but uh, well, I think it's fun. All right, everybody. Well, uh, thank you for joining me on this a little bit shorter episode. Um, I just wanted to uh, kind of give some information um, about chargers and, and my, my opinions and whatnot. Um, if you have any specific questions, just you can drop a comment down below. I respond pretty well. Um, I enjoy kind of interacting with you all and uh, learning about your all's experiences. Additionally, um, if uh, there's any more content you would want me to bring, comment down below, let me know. Uh, as always, man, this sun, as always, uh, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. If you hear someone that's um, like a friend of yours that's interested in getting EVs, tell them, hey, you should go check out the average EV. He knows a little something, something. Uh, and um, that way they can maybe get a little knowledge before they go to buy an EV. I'm really trying to um, provide people who want to get into EVs or people who are kind of um, uh, almost able to afford uh, to give them a little insight uh, into this because I'm going to help I'm going to help move this EV transition along um, and hopefully as time goes on it's going to be easier for more and more people to acquire an EV and kind of join this EV revolution so thanks again and I will catch you all next time